Hi, so in this video, we're going to be going through empirical formula and molecular formula. So we're just going to look at some very simple examples. So the first one we're going to look at is converting from the percentage into the empirical formula. So the empirical formula is the lowest ratio between the elements within the formula and the molecular formula is the formula of the actual molecule. So it's not the lowest ratio, it's the actual ratio. So 60% So this question that I'm going to go through tells you that it's 40% sulfur by mass and 60% oxygen by mass. So the first thing we do is because it's a by mass, we need to divide it by the atomic weight for each of those elements. So the first thing is divide by the weight of that element. So 60 divided by and if I look up oxygen on the periodic table, it's 16. And sulfur would be 40 divided by 32. And I'll get the values for those. So then I end up with 1.25 and 3.75. Now, because I want to get the ratio between them, the second step is to divide by the smallest one out of these two numbers. So it would be the sulfur at 1.25. So then this gives me oxygen 3, sulfur 1. So the formula would be sulfur, I've got one of those, and oxygen, I've got three of those. So it's SO3. So that's my empirical. Now to find out the molecular formula, I would need to be told what that molecular weight or molar mass of that compound is. And then I see how many times can the empirical formula fit into that molecular formula. So let's have a go at doing one of those questions. Okay, so I've got carbon 51.8%, hydrogen 9.8% and chlorine 38.4% and I'm told the molecular mass or the molar mass or the molecular weight is 184.9 grams per mole. So first of all, I work out the empirical formula and then I see how many times that empirical formula will fit into 184.9. So remember the first step is to divide by weight. Okay, so the atomic weight, so 51.8 divided by 12, 9.8 divided by 1, 38.4 divided by 35.5 and write down those values. So now I've got those values. The second thing is to divide by smallest number or value. So out of these, which is the smallest? So we've got 4.3, 9.8 and 1.08. So we're going to be dividing through by this one. So 4.317. So these are the values. I get basically 4, 9, and 1. So it's C4, H9, Cl1. So that's my empirical formula. Now to work out my molecular formula, I see how many times C4, H9, Cl fits into 184.9 grams per mole. So to work out the molecular weight of C4H9Cl would be the first step. So one lot of the empirical formula equals 92.5 grams per mole. So then I go, how many times can I fit 92.5 into the 184.9? So basically 185. So you can go N 92.5 equals 184.9. So N equals 2. So I can put 92.5 two times to get 185. So therefore, the molecular formula would be double the empirical formula. So it would be C8H18Cl2. So that's the end of this video and I'll see you next time.